Hey home bakers, it's Jack here, bakewithjack.co.uk, bringing you your weekly bread making tip every single Thursday. And bread tip number 61 is all about whether I grease my tin or not. Hmm. Hey, 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 welcome back. A few of you may well have seen the loaf tin video I did a couple of weeks ago, about two pound loaf tins and what that actually means. And a few of you commented on the state of my precious bread making tin. This one, it's my precious one, okay? In fact, I've got two of these. In fact, I might even have three of these. They look identical to this and this is what I use on a regular basis. Yes, it does look dirty, but it's not dirt, it's seasoned. When you get a loaf tin for the first time, you're gonna to wanna to butter it, okay? You're gonna to wanna to put a fine grease of butter on the inside before you place your wonderful, well-loved dough into that thing and let it prove up before you bake it, right? And that will stop it from sticking. Grease it up the first time round. And then, the key is, do not wash it. Bear with me. Next time you use it, butter it again. Maybe the first three times, maybe the first four times, butter it as you go. And in between bakes, don't wash it. Get yourself a nice little brush and just brush out the bits and bobs if there's anything in there. Brush it all out, wipe it out with a paper towel if you want to, but don't wash it. Now this is not called dirty, it's called seasoned. And the seasoned loaf tin that you spent so long now seasoning will now become non-stick and nothing will stick to it. As long as you dust your dough nicely with a fine coating of flour all over, top, bottom, sides, ends, before you put it into that tin, it will never stick to that tin ever again. And when it's baked, it will release itself from the tin. The most important part of this video, I suppose, I don't know if I've said it already, is don't wash that tin. As soon as you wash that tin, it's game over. All your hard work is finished and it's back to the beginning with the butter, which is fine. If you wanna butter it every time, butter it and wash it. Some people wince when I say don't wash it. Oh, don't wash it. It's only had bread though in it and none of it stuck. It just slipped out at the end, leaving the loaf tin nice and clean anyway. It doesn't really require washing. If you wanna wash it every time, scrub it out every time, butter it every time you use it. And if you don't wanna wash it, don't wash it. Give your loaf a little bit of dust and pop it in and it will never stick to that tin. So that's it, that's the answer to the question. That was a quick one, wasn't it? Uh, no, I don't butter my tin. Yes, I do the first two or three times, but that was years ago, and now I don't have to bother ever again, as long as I don't wash it in between. Thank you so much, as always, for being here every single week. And you know I'm, I'm, what I'm gonna say next. You know exactly what I'm gonna say next. Please click that thumbs up button if you like this video. It really helps spread it throughout YouTube. It tells YouTube, that it's not a bad video and it's helped people out and then it will show it to other people as well. And if you don't wanna miss out on my weekly bread maker tips, please click subscribe, subscribe to the channel and I'll be here waiting for you on Thursday morning next week. See ya.